Describe what you saw. I saw myself as a child. I was playing with my sister in the woods. It's not far away from the castle. I could see it behind the trees. There was a man there, too. Could you make out who it is? No, he had his back to me. But something very bad has happened. What's happened? My sister, she's fallen in a hole. She's screaming. What should I do? Adrian, you're not there anymore. Remember what you did at the time. I ran to the hole and I don't know. I, I can't remember. You woke me up before I could help her. I didn't wake you up, Adrian. You woke up of your own accord. It would appear everything in you is trying to fend off this memory. <coughs> Seems you really want to suppress it. Or I just can't remember. The memory is still there. You just need to let it happen. It's easy for you to say. Perhaps you should tackle this memory in a conscious state. Try and find the place in the woods that you saw. You need an anchor in the present. Hmm. If you say so. And with regards to the hallucinations, I've ordered a medication. It should help to suppress them. Very good. I'll take it. <laughs> At least you can rely on conventional medicine. Please take this prescription and give it to a buyer in the shop. She'll give you the medication. Oh. She's a pharmacist, too? In a little village like this, everyone has more than one role. still pounding. Lucky that Murray found me in the woods yesterday. I probably would have frozen otherwise. I should get this medication as soon as possible. And I could ask the inspector whether Murray's finally corrected his statement. And I've got an appointment with the priest, too. It can't be that difficult to find my father's grave. Oh, and I should find that ominous place in the woods. Enjoy it, Darren. It's gonna be a long day. The shop was still open this time yesterday. Hey, Zach. What do you want now? Did I say something wrong? No, I'm just a bit busy. The inspector hasn't been here all morning, and I have to do everything myself. Where's the inspector? Cafe, I think. Or maybe you can help me. Has Murray been here about his statement? Murray? Yes, he was here. Wanted to discuss something urgently with the inspector. Do you know what it was about? I can't tell you that. Goodbye, Constable. Hmm. The cafe waiter is a real stiff. Maybe he's just swallowed something rather nasty? Oh, I'll just ask him. Hi. Good day, sir. You almost look like a waiter to me. You're absolutely right, sir. My name is Edward. Has the inspector been here yet today? No, sir. I haven't seen him all day. I've just got here. And Denise? Denise has also disappeared. Both of them not there, huh? No. It's a nice cafe you've got here. Thank you, sir. I do all I can to keep it that way. Aren't cafes a bit uncommon in England? If you say so, sir. But I think this place deserves an alternative to that drunkard's dive over there. I'd better be going. Please, do us the honor again soon, sir.
Huh, there's Bobby, the village idiot. Well, no, that's being unfair. He's pretty much the nicest guy for miles around. Hello, Bobby. Oh, hi, Darren. I is it true that you're uh, evil now? No, Bobby, you don't need to be scared. I'd never do anything to anyone. The uh, others said that y you set f fire to the c castle. You shouldn't believe everything people tell you, Bobby. I I'm innocent. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Th that's what th 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 Tom says all the time, too. <laughs> okay, Darren. I b believe you. Aren't you working in the museum anymore? N no. Mrs. Puff sent me away. The mayor has sent you away? How come she did that? I didn't take enough c care, she said. I did lose the key. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Are you working here now? Yeah, yeah, b b but not for money, b b but for Denise. She she's my new girlfriend. <laughs> I uh, help her out. And what does Edward have to say about that? N nothing. He he gives me a cloth and a wash bucket. <laughs> I get it. Tell me, Bobby, do you know the village policeman? Yeah, but I don't l like him. T -t Tom d doesn't like him either. What's your brother Tom up to then? I d don't know. He's not around m much right now. B but that's good too. He said he's going to k k kill you if he finds you. I'd better be going. Uh, okay, th Darren. Hello, Doctor? Can I ask you a quick question? Uh, doctor? How can I help you? There's a problem with my medication. You don't like the taste? That's normal. Swallow them with orange juice instead of water. No, it's not that. The, the shop's closed and it doesn't look like a buyer is there. Oh, I forgot completely. A buyer's always in Ipswich on Tuesdays. She does a self-defense course there. I would have thought a refereeing course would be more her thing. And how do I get my medication now? Well, if the postman has already been, he's probably left the deliveries in the barrel next to the door. Barrel next to the door? With medication? What if someone steals it? Right next to the police station? I don't think so. Here's to village life. Do you know Ralph? Ralph? No. Who's that? Oh, uh, not so important. Something strange happened to me last night. I don't know what was real and what wasn't. Tell me about it, Adrian. I was just on my way back to the village when I was attacked by large black dogs in the woods. Fortunately, there was a shack close by, which I was able to hold up in. I couldn't get back out through the door. Once I cut my way outside through the floor with a chainsaw, there were no signs the dogs had been there at all. Then I fell unconscious. Supposedly, Murray found me there in the middle of the night and brought me back to the hotel. I can't remember any of that. A classic dream of repression. The black dogs, and then... the... the... There's nothing there. It's a deep-seated fear of the consequences of your actions. 
I saw a woman dressed in white, almost looked like some kind of wedding dress. Where did you see her? When I was locked in the shack uh, from the window, she was standing on the edge of the clearing. She saw me and then disappeared into the woods. Did she say anything or do anything? Well, I didn't hear anything, but perhaps. She certainly wasn't just wandering around. It almost seemed as though she was looking for something. Really? There's a legend here in Willow Creek about a white lady who wanders through the woods looking for her child. In vain, as the story goes, but no one has ever seen her. Until now. <laughs> Don't worry, Adrian. That's a completely natural reaction to this myth. It originates from the collective longing for a pure mother figure who can be adored like a saint, out of the whole thing that there are chosen ones who perceive her apparition. And everyone wants to be a chosen one, that's just human. You've got an explanation for everything, haven't you? Psychology is the modern theology. What do these black dogs mean? Uh, what kind of creatures are they? Fleeing from vicious, aggressive dogs. That sounds like a typical nightmare. It expresses the fear of one's own aggressive side. Were the dogs alone, or was someone with them? No, they were alone. Just the dogs. Dogs who roam around without a human master suggests a suppressed issue with dominance. It could also suggest exactly the opposite, though. That the dreamer is neglecting a particular part of himself, which is alluded to by the nature of the dogs. What breed of dog were they? No idea. Hellhounds? They were definitely huge and black. Large dogs reinforce the meaning I was talking about. The fact that they're black would suggest their origin in the subconscious. Are there any tablets I can take for this? Catch you later. Take care. <laughs>